your fundamentals are all screwed up and you have big issues here.
All right, all right, all right. Welcome, welcome, everyone. It is Tuesday. Time, time for some exit as always. So as always, you know, it's seven ten, but the bracket will start at seven fifteen. We still have. I was gonna say last minute checkups, but today I think everyone is already checked in. So I'm just gonna show you guys the seating as always. So you know, here's the here's the seating for today. So if any obligations, any, you know, uh, complaints or anything, let me know and we can make it work. But other than that, we're just gonna, just gonna wait since, you know, bracket is supposed to start at 15. So I'm just gonna wait for last minute signups. And while I'm at it, I'm just gonna, you know, start thinking about stream matches and all that. And in a bit, I'm gonna hop in with my co-commentator for today, which is gonna be Lapsus. So yeah, how is everyone doing? Hope everything is okay. And as always, you guys know what's coming. I will see them. Already pre-fired the codes before I even started. Thank you, Aren. Thank you, Lapsus. Thank you, Ka Kaiten. Thank you, Nok. So you know, guys, you, you, you do the funny... Funny command in the chat. And you just bring out the matcher, you know. So any person who writes in the Twitch chat can use that same account for Twitch. To log in here and claim a code and again all of this money goes to the winner of tonight's or potentially multiple people depending on uh, how the price pool ends up so the price pool is currently again there's gonna be five dollars added by ace so the price pool is right now at six dollars and 25 cents and you know if we gave all the codes i think we can get pretty far into it and potentially down the line if 20 dollars gets surpassed uh, we're gonna get top two payout so, you know, if you know, anyone wants to donate or reclaim all the codes and all that, we could probably reach the $20 mark. And that would mean that top two gets paid out. But for now, you know, focus on claiming the codes. Since I know that sometimes we don't claim all of them. Or, you know, we're missing few. So, always nice if we claim all of them. Since, again, all of this goes to the players. And none of it goes to me or Ace. Or, you know, any of the commentators. All of this just goes to the players. So, yeah. I'm going to double check again. Real quick before... 15 hits so uh, I don't forget anyone or check something and yeah I'm gonna slowly start preparing everything else so we can just perfectly start on time yeah. mm, how much time is it 7 12 it's gonna be 7 13 so we have two minutes left so if you have any friend anyone who wants to sign up last minute they can no, I have it here open, so I can just last minute place them, seed them, whatever is necessary. So just give them a call and let them know I saw people in Hearts Are Blazing last minute summoning people. And it worked. We saw a lot of names show up right now. So, you know, if you have any other friend, who would you want them to join the bracket? You can, uh, you can go at them. And then I'm going to start preparing here. Damn, yeah, Fundex, Fundex uh, been missing out on a few salties and uh, now, uh, you know, we signed up last time, but before that there was a few of them that Fundex missed out on, which is sad, I like watching Fundex again, I stayed in it in other places that I think Fundex is one of my like favorite players to watch, so it is unfortunate, but again, like, you know, uh, real life priorities always come first before playing a tournament. So it is understandable. I hope I hope he signs up next time. So again, I really I really uh, I really like watching him and uh, hope he shows up. So what time is it? We're gonna be reaching yeah, last twenty seconds. After that, I'm gonna do final refresh, and we're gonna start the bracket. Gonna, as always, mark few stream matches before I send the final ping and all that.
Alright, that's 15. Alright, final check. No one? Bracket? I, I got a new streaming challenge layout. Alright, process check in results. And start a tournament. Alright, so. Last second, you know, as always, I'm gonna put some stream matches on. So I would wanna see. I wanna see. I wanna see this. I'm gonna put this on. So, Pin Freezer versus Lily, since that's a person who I don't think I saw on Salt yet, so it's gonna be them. And I'm gonna put Seija and Goofy on stream, since also Seija, a person who I have yet to see play. And then I'm gonna do for round two, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna refresh it so you guys can see. And this one, and then we're just gonna do as regularly top eight. I'm gonna refresh this challenge work. I, I love this website sometimes. There you go, it's marked. Alright, so, everyone else, you can start the tournament. I'm just gonna send the ping out into the Discord, and everyone else, you can start playing your games. So, good luck to everyone, and uh, hope the bracket runs cool. And with that, I'm gonna go join voice chat, and introduce you to my co-commentator for today. Welcome, welcome, Opsus. Hello, hello. So, is it working? Yeah, it is working. It is working. I think we're all... Good and dandy, so <laughs> how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. What back again doing some good exert. Yeah. Been a hot minute, but I always like going back. So fun. Yeah, uh, we don't get it as much as obviously as other games since it is a bi weekly, but uh, mm. still you know, it always hits really well when it comes. It is. So I mean it's the best game to reach over something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Exert uh, very like just enjoyable to be a spectator of. Even if you don't really understand it, the game is you know visually nice and stuff is happening always. So <laughs> very very enjoyable game to just kind of even for me like as again as a commentator who just doesn't know much about the game <laughs> as I would still want to. But hey, it always always uh, you take something out of it. Yeah, so I sent out the ping to the first players, which is gonna be. Lenef Lily versus Finn Freezer. So I already pinged them and I'm just waiting for their arrival into the stream room. And uh, I'm gonna stream up for Discord, I assume. Yep, I yeah, am okay, not okay. going into the ring. Okay, okay, so I'm just gonna stream up for Discord. Alright, so we're gonna have Russia and Finland. So I can't swap, let me swap to the game audio. Seja, who's echoing right now? Ooh, are we echoing? Mm, okay, oh, seems okay. like it would probably fix it, but probably someone. Probably you. Yeah, something happened, I don't know. I, I hope it's not gonna continue. Hmm. But, uh. Yeah, alright. If everything is okay, then that's the important part. Right. Exactly. We already have Finn Freezer in the lobby. I wonder if Finn Freezer is gonna play. Uh... Oh, Finn Freezer is finally on uh, on Sin. Because uh, Finn Freezer was talking about picking up Sin and trying it, uh, uh -huh. trying him out. And normally, no it normally plays Johnny, right? So. Okay. I mean, well, good characters both, but the match I'm seeing right now on screen, if it's going like this, it's quite interesting. Yeah. It's gonna be dizzy. Same. It's a it's a family it's a yep. full family affair. A family feud over dinner and uh, <laughs> and one we don't see very often on salty so you know it's gonna be really nice. Oh, we had yeah. we had dizzy last time last week for like the properly for the first time ever uh, mm -hmm. where we saw like some really good dizzy gameplay. So I mean, well we are already seeing that the pressure that dizzy can impose to you get the knockdown set the bubble and then. Trying try to fish for something. Yeah. Yeah, the, the thing that the, this is the XO, right? Just kind of like putting stuff on the screen and then playing around it. <laughs> but oh my god, look at this damage. What? Despite not being uh, Finn Freeze's main, got the, got the combos. That was like a 50% combo we just saw there. Oh my god, the counter hit Elkhart. Nice catches the yeah. back dash. Oh. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Trying to go for a price pillar in that situation. Yeah, you need to, the, the meter now. Gets the opening, knockdown. Low fish bleeds, oh, but beautiful grab and manages to combo out of it. Yeah, Vinfisa has full meter, but oh, doesn't get a chance to use it. Mm -hmm. 
mean, you were in a realistic situation and bursting was still not an option. Having a, one more round. And, and there is the mention burst. Alright, nice conversion. And the finisher. Oh, the Dex out though. Yeah. So it was Black Beach, so probably we could have been decked out of there, but once again, we've seen. Really? Doing a really good job with that setup. The amount of pressure that Dizzy can point onto you, it's yeah. exhausting. <laughs> Probably the best word to say in that moment. Yep. Yeah, definitely just, you know, started throwing stuff out and uh, Infisa had trouble, so it's kind of blocking everything. Hmm. Oh, it's opening my fin with. Probably get all. Oh no, that's ah, not no, that... Yeah, there's Poor the man's hungry. Yeah, there's the there's the thing, right? Of not being used to the character. Some of these like specific character mechanics might come. Not being yeah. used to. But I mean, let's see if it's gonna cost him the round since uh, you know stuck in the corner against the lid. Mm. Doing good pressure. A nice catch yeah. on the jump out. Oh my god, the mash. Oh no, the, the, the mash, the... but yeah! the problem yeah okay you can get a big driver but you are you haven't eaten anything you're going to an exhaustion immediately and now there's two pieces stand deeper but oh beautiful hit. rebound okay, reposition one bubble ah the sh shield fish but not too much trying to oh, kind of no. zone a bit but oof. okay oh my god will the skill <gasps> no it gets the tech oh my god counter no, it was scrambling, it's back oh. oh my god. Pumbling the ender like that, that's unfortunate. With that Lily on set point. So again, we are in first to two. Yep. Rough, nice but, starter. Oh, yeah, like I look back. at the... Yeah, uh, Sally... Oh, I'm then missing the boost. Yeah, but but uh, something important there. Freezer didn't use full bar of... of, of calories. But, yeah. Right now, Lily is putting on a show, and probably, yes, I agree. It, it, you, you can technically call 911. This is a severe case of domestic violence. Jokingly, of course, but. Getting that air grab, yep. and yeah. Too many things on screen at the end. Yeah, well, very well played from uh, Lily, though. Uh, very strong performance, you know, first time on Salty, and starting off strong like that, so. Very, very good stuff from her. I wonder how far she's gonna get into the bracket. I don't know. It's going to be interesting because we, we've seen really good things. And yes, yeah, Sergio, Exart is first to two, except uh, winners, uh, winners and losers finals and grand finals, obviously. Yeah. Why it's first to two? I don't know. It has always been like that. If yeah. you ask me, I will make first to three everything. But I, I don't make the rules. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those just kind of like the two things that stays over. To be fair, I'm the, I'm the type of person who would rather play every game in first three because I like the format more, but you know, then like stuff would take long and for, for some games it's just not feasible. So even if you would want the first to three, sometimes it's just like not another not option you can do, but... Because again, like the more, like the longer the set is, the technically like... Uh, the know, longer it can go. Yeah, 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 but but also is there like a less chance of like getting robbed and stuff like that. So because sometimes mm -hmm. it can happen, right? You can get robbed in the first two. It can happen. Like it obviously, like depending on the game, depending on the matchup and all that, there's like lesser chance of it happening. But it can happen. And you know, the higher the score is, like the higher the format is, the, the lesser chance of getting robbed in quotation marks there is. So again, I always appreciate first to three more, but you know, sometimes it's just not feasible. It is what it is. Yep. Um, but still, we are enjoying the game. Therefore, we find no problems there. Yeah. But we are now waiting for our next set, which is going to be two Seija versus Goofy. And both players responded mm -hmm. in the chat. Okay. Oh, are we going to see another Dizzy? I see the Dizzy. Uh, I see the Dizzy. Mm. Icon. No! Oh, no, it's May. Okay. <laughs> it's May. It works. Yeah. I saw the Dizzy icon. I was like, man, are we going to get like a Dizzy galore today? And... Turns I mean, out that what it's... have been fun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a full stream of zo uh, zo zoning setups and um, bullshit blazing. Yep. Uh. Uh. 
this part of of Exert is bad. I, I, because uh, I use it, I, I like do the menu stuff on pad, and my pad turned mm. off because I had it AFK, and now I have to do it on on the keyboard like frantically. Yeah. But still not something else, and we're nope. going at it. So it's gonna be Seija versus Goofy. So the let's... battle of the gorillas. Yep. It's the it's the sea gorilla and the and the earth gorilla. <laughs> so let's see which yeah. one prevails. Ooh, nice start with the JD. Ooh. All right, the back yeah. pressure doesn't block the overhead. Whoa! Good opening, and now oh, this time reacting to the to the parry, but wow, that flash kick is more than enough now. Seija trying to do something, gets the back throw, sets up that Dolphin, oh that guard crash is... He's a starting point, but still. Yeah, there you go, gets the flash kick, oh, but gets split. You know, Goofy has a lot of meter though, so flash kick YRC, oh, just wake up YRC raw, and... Oh, that was a weird reset there. Well, there's yeah. Seija, Seija expected a cross-up maybe, not sure, but it worked out for Goofy, taking the first round. Certainly it did, but and now we are seeing Seija playing a little more careful in the situation, but Leo's pressure is not something that you can scoff at it. At all the time, trying to bait some situations, but now... Try, try to set up Dolphins, but a flash kick will win a Dolphin every time. Yeah, no respect from Goofy. There you go, another flash kick. This one gets blocked, but, you know, Meter is there to make it safe. Oh, starts the pressure. He pinned it. Oh, Seja doing something, getting clipped. Oh, and the blitz, and the blitz. <laughs> oh. Oh, doesn't get the restand though. Oh, and the 6P counter hit. But we're still not done yet, but. Damn. Damn flash kicks. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter if, if you can set a dolphin perfectly to go for Meaty. Flash kick will beat a Meaty dolphin. Yeah. Yeah, Goofy, Goofy. Uh... Almost every time that Goofy is on stream, Goofy is that like very like not respectful player, just kind of bowling on defense, doing stuff, make you make you scared to do your own pressure. And it's working really well. You saw like the the, the flash kicks at insane success rate. Certainly, and also his use of the parry, managing to evade a lot of maze maze bullshit. But there's a limit on how much things that you can evade. Look at that damage, setting up those meetings. Gets that charge dust and, and the rest them, but oh! Alright, box the overhead. Oh, but get hit by the S. Goofy a full meter though, so. You know. Mm. Oh, he's not. Is he gonna die? Can this end? No, gets the Oki. Oh, he saw heavy H boom on wake up. There you go. Oh, doesn't get the combo and gets Dolphin. Oh. The yeah. demon arrived. <laughs> Dolphin still is a problem. If May is in, in there, the Dolphin is going to be a problem. You're going to know the Dolphin. But, yeah. Nice. Now oh, there you go, baiting oh. the flash kick finally. And that was a lot of damage for it. And gets the back mm. throw again. Oh, tries to keep the bucket back dash. There you go, another flash kick. Another one. Oh, Goofy trying to set up the blender, but oh, back throw instant, setting the thing again. But this time, recognizing that, yeah, first Dolphin, then flash kick. And also, those blitzes are not working as well as Seija will, uh, will aspire there. Yeah, not yeah, that. you're doing a lot of, uh, as you said, a lot of uh, the blitzes on Wake Up, but uh, Goofy, they're usually delaying or just doing uh, low, depending on the spot, so they weren't as successful, but hey, it's not stopping Seija from, uh, you know, equaling it one to one. No, we are one to one. And both games have been extremely close, yeah. even though. First game may not seem like that close, but trust me, one game was enough to get some adaptation and I'm getting ready for that balls and look at that now. Seija is completely adapted, almost, but oh, Goofy still ma f finding those spots like that parry. Yeah, yeah that's what I was talking about with like the first to do stuff, right? Like sometimes it can happen, like you can just lose the game really fast, especially against these like snowballish characters like Leo that just kind of put you in the blender and then they not let off. So it's hard I mean, to escape them. So it look can at happen. the blender. Yep, yep. <laughs> like, what is that? 18 frame overhead, you know? The unblockable. There's so many tools Leo has, especially in back turn, which are super scary. So you gotta be really careful. Oh, nice grab on the cross up. 
gets the knockdown and oh no the burst with that burst gauge is completely empty so will it have spot for goofy now yeah it's good there's going to be ano another game but there's not enough time to to fill up <laughs> that burst bar back nope so goofy will need to to navigate am i without burst and sage is going to get burst in no time it's going to be difficult especially look at the pressure already but oh. oh tries to get the reset but gets smacked instead oh my god yeah the burst gauge is almost not filling up S still not there who gets the run up though hmm. all right goofy now gotta activate the gorilla and just you know completely there you go oh no the otg failed so they get knocked down again oh the dolphin failed. hit oh. okay burst okay, burst out burst out, burst oh, out. No. But, oh, oh this, no is this it no no, it's... Yeah. Oh no, the beach ball! The beach ball! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> the beach ball! The beach ball! Was just beach there. Ball of... Yeah. Beach ball of doom! Yep. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I assume, I assume Goofy just didn't expect the... The ball to hit that soon, but... Kind of flew into it, and again, it, it, it happens. Uh, yep, sadly it happens to the best of us. Yeah. But still, super, super strong performance uh, from Goofy. Like, this was super close set. Hmm. So let's see how far he can take it. And as we're talking, our next stream match is setting up, which is going to be 2S versus Koji. So we're going to see... The Polish Kai and 2S, if I remember correctly, is a Zado player. If I um, from last week. Uh, the, the, okay, profile picture on Discord is Zado, so if I remember correctly, it is Zado. Hope I'm not wrong. Ooh. Hope I remember the people correctly, but I think we're gonna see a Zado. Mm, and I believe nice. even these people, even these two played uh, like in the previous Salty, if, if I remember correctly. Not sure right now, but. I would have to, you know, get the confirmation from one of the players if they played yeah. before in the bracket. I am not because unsure myself, but... I, I am even less sure than you. I, I, yeah. I think I, I didn't saw last last time, but... Yeah, and, and if you're seeing it says that, it's not something that I have normally seen on... Neither here nor... Nor when 2BCU did, did this. Yep. It's not a, I don't know if it's much of a common character or not, but... It's going to be interesting. I know that's that can be busted, but... Yeah, because I know that, like, you know, Zato in this game sucks, and uh, I'm not sure if, like, uh, the players... Because I know there's few Zato players in Europe, but they just usually don't enter brackets from what I know. So, mm. uh, again, it might be that, you know, the older... Since I remember that uh, Parag, for example, was a Zato player and now plays Venom. So, uh, you know, I assume that the Zato players just kind of, you know, gave up on the character and swapped, uh, swapped to other characters. Kind of what we're seeing right now from... Funnily enough, in Stripe with Zaru and Asuka, so <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the nerf into into picking the top tier, it's... Uh... Nerf into ditch Zato yep. is a classic one. It's, it's, like classic that, behavior. it's like that uh, Ogawa syndrome, right? The character is bad, Ogawa is not gonna play Zato, so <laughs> <laughs> depending on that. As we were talking, Koji already took a first round. Yeah. Playing really strong. Oh no, the back foot in the corner. Eddie Gage is full. Nice air dash out. Yes, but... S2 is only managing to fish some straight hits. Only now it's starting to get some pressure, but... Ooh. Oh, it's really? gonna hit. Oh, yeah, oh and that's the a Morphos. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good sequence. That was a Morphos? Yeah, well, that was a Morphos, yeah. Because the super yeah. came out after, like, the far slash connected, so the super, like... You know, if, if the if the Zato gets hit... Uh, the super still comes out and you get hit, so you can trade like that. Since you saw that uh, two S got got hit by the by the far slash, but that trade is so much more in uh, in Zaro's favor. I imagine sending a, a an overdrive like that, you should be positive for super powerful ahead because he connects and oh, because he's not letting S to play. Uh, and the air dash to close it out, the cheap mix. 
Yeah, Koji played <laughs> super well this round. The movement around Zaro, uh, especially Eddie, just like avoiding the stuff. I saw that uh, stun edge in the air, YRC perfectly made a drill with, and that was a very clean sequence from from Koji. So Koji definitely looking very strong. Certainly. And now we're seeing Suez putting some pressure and forcing Koji towards good reflect on on that stun edge, but now Koji sets up sigils and that and Kai's pressure is nothing to scoff at it. Yeah, having Damn. access to all those gadlings and all that, so Kai when he starts the stagger pressure, he's definitely really scary. And Zaro, again, character with not much life. So you gotta be really careful what you pick with Zaro since one mistake can cost you the game. Oh no! Mm. But it's also applies. If you're fighting Zato himself, since you know what that one knockdown can cost you the game like that. Yeah, we're we're seeing. So yes, kind of completely playing around everything at the end. Cause he's into something. Nope, there's a drill. There's something else that Eddie's going to be throwing at you. And now, trying to control space with those drills once again. So I think up Eddie, but to no avail. Oh, only now gets knocked out. But good take out of. Koji said, but lost half his life in the process. Yeah, but gets the knockdown and the no. Oh, the blitz back. Uh, there you go. Mix doesn't get blocked. <gasps> Why is he on the six p? All right. I don't know if Eddie got killed or not. I'm not sure. Uh, I think soon. he got recalled, but oh, he I got recalled. Ah, since how much pressure Koji is doing, Eddie was back regardless. So. Oh, nice! Catches the bring oh. from off! Alright, potentially final. Yep. That was a counter. So I assume... Uh, I assume 2S was smashing something, and with that, Koji is potentially on set point. Potential, but... Oh, once again, caught in the air. There's your combo. Try, now trying to set up Eddie, but those stun edges not letting him set up Eddie where he wants. Once again, down for the, for the duty, and Koji... Putting on a clinic and hold to play Kai. Yeah, as someone who picked up Kai recently, like I like watching Koji. This is like tech always I can steal, so seeing all the mix and stuff. You know, I'm gonna note the town and practice that for myself later. Ooh, but the tech oh. out. Koji taking it to zero. Yes, even though even getting gold boost that say, yeah, I don't care. Just take me uh, take me in, back in, I will deal with yep. that. And easy. Two over two S that I still think that put on a, a great show, great match, even though I think both of us don't know much what was happening. Yeah, regarding Zaru in this game, I'm like always kind of confused. The character is very different to what I'm used to from Strive, so... Uh... You know, here. I am I am just kind of confused. Like, I, I understand a bit, but a lot of the sequences and stuff, I am, like, still... Especially because I don't see the character often. Like, on a few of the complicated characters I see often here on Salty, I'm okay with, since I kind of, like, got grasp of what is happening, just from watching. But not not with not with Zaro. <laughs> no. <laughs> Zaro, Zaro is almost a mirage. But now, we have another great game scheduled. Yeah. It's gonna be K&E. &E. Yep. So we're gonna have Austria versus Finland. And yeah, and again, this is a this is a top eight qualifier now. And winner of this set is gonna have to fight Mere. So you know, going from a one of these two going from that strong opponent they have just into the hands of Mere, who is C two today. Yeah, it's the classic of. Yeah, you can win here, but next one is also yep. problematic. But it is what it is. Both players in the lobby getting ready. Mm. All right. There you go. And we are beginning. So another May. Another May. And Kian is jam. Classic at this point. All right, so let's see how we're gonna see if maybe we're gonna see some difference in playstyle between Ko and uh, and Kenny. Nice start. Ooh, the uptown fin catches Kenny, and now we're stuck in the corner. Oh my God, the snipes! Nice parry. Yeah, beautiful one, and now Kenny 
gets Kuko on the corner, which means we are cooking. Literally. Yeah. God damn damage. Yeah. May oh. a character who's supposed to have like pretty decent life, especially like high cuts and just Cham doesn't care. Cham will just evaporate your life bar. It is Jam we are talking about. Yep. <laughs> Jam's also the, the classical resident of Oh yeah, I, I am a little frame, but I'm going to delete half your life in one combo that's also not going to be that difficult to execute because reasons. Yeah. Kenny taking first round. A very long round. Both players were exchanging bows for quite a while, but then we just saw you know the hydrogen bomb being sent out. <laughs> Yes, just as Kenny tries to load one dra dragon, but Kuko, good pressure there, setting up those meaties that we tried. We almost saw before when. On. On the Shiga, but. Yep. Now we're seeing it better. Yep. Yeah, I also like the optimization from Kuko on. Uh, like Kenny doing a lot of wake up parries on the Dolphins, but then running in and pressing the 2k or 2d to to still catch the parry so like nice nice stuff like that Ooh, there you go gets the mm -hmm. hit gets the knockdown oh no the wake up oh. grab you didn't space yourself properly and this might cost you the game <gasps> the um, dp the fish it mm. oh no region yeah. virus <gasps> nice check trade. on the instant overhead and the trade yeah. trade not in your favor in the had a full bar half of it to the da okay but then what Yep. Yeah, it's sad, sad when you have a uh, full meter and then you just, you know, one life and you try to use it but then you just get randomly clipped or something mm. and you lose it and you're like, man, you know, it's Guilty Gear, I don't bring that bar to the next round, now I'm stuck with zero meter again, I didn't have to have fun with Roman cancels or my supers. Well, it, in that case it was a uh, do or die because you were going to go to the next game yep. or round, the fourth. Eh. But now we are seeing Kane getting the party started. Dragon or loaded and oh there it is. Getting the reset once again. Loading dragon, loading uppercut. He got greedy with the cards and cost him that back full, but still doesn't matter getting the hit. Ooh. Oh but that full card. Oh there we go. Oh that's going to be a lot, lot of damage. Tries to catch the landing and Post gets it playing with at the end he was playing beach ball with my body. Okay, I need a, that beast. Yeah. Oh no, the raw 6 h getting the knockdown. Oh, but Kenny escaping the dolphin. Oh, sets up the car. Nice. Oh no, there you go. Yeah, decides to burst. Smart call, you know, you're up around. You can build back the meter during the set. Oh, what was that? Why did 3k whiff that way? That was so funny. Oh, but nice air throw from Kenny. Oh, catches the back dash too. To the air combo. That's going to hurt a, a little bit once again. Loading the uppercut, gets another air grab, but oh, instant overhead connects, and now Kenny once again trying to set up situation, but Kuko, good check on those jabs. Trying to get the spacing, get it to the to that dolphin once again, sending the whole of Marine Land there. There you go, and the throw, not letting Kenny out of the corner. There you go, will it kill? Nope, one HP left. Oh, never mind, two P O T G. Nice secure. Okay. And you go back on the board. Exactly. There's some more dolphin use uses this time of Kukos, but Kayan is still a beast. In a counter hit now. Quarter left out. Oh, the Blocks burst. that force. Alright, build the card to the full. Oh and the throw. No burst to save you from now. This is a very tough spot to be in. Yeah, I think it's his final interaction moment. Completely agree on that. Except yeah. if Kenny misses, but it's not going to miss and seals that round with a full. Perfect. Yeah. I, I think he, he didn't like the fact that lost a game. Yeah. Even though it was. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny felt himself and, uh, you know. Strong, strong way to start uh, or go into top 8. Having to fight Mere, but with that, you know, as I mentioned, we're gonna be moving to top 8 now. We're gonna start with Pat and Koji. But, but, before we go into top 8, you know, you guys know what's up.
Macharino, as always. We already claimed how many codes? We already claimed 12 codes, but we can do way better. We can do way, way better. So again, the link is in the chat. Anyone who's writing in chat can use that same account to claim a Vacherino code. All of this money goes to the players. You know, as I before I left, last person I thanked was Koji. So thank you, Pat. Thank you, Stavo. Thank you, Finn. Thank you, Trinity Jack. Thank you, Anxious. I cannot read the full name because challenge is sending you. Thank you, Biggie Shark. And thank you, Trinity. Yo, know, keep it going, guys. Again, just all of this goes to the players. It's, it takes nothing. Like, you can do that between matches as right now. As I'm talking about, we could have already claimed way, way many codes. So. Yeah, especially take, take into account that we have 35 people watching the stream. Yep. Uh, more or less, 2, 3, 4 have already claimed. Someone may already left. But still, we mean that we have we, we have almost as many people here watching the stream as codes are remaining. If someone is just going there, yeah, login, click a code, easy, four clicks, Koji, are, Koji himself says it, it's easy, just one, two, three, four, one, click the link on Machino, two, login there, three, click OK on which platform do you want to, to log in, four, claim the code, easy. Yep, it takes Aye. no effort, so again, claim the codes, all of this goes to the players, so you know, if you have a favorite in here and you want to support them, help them out. And uh, yeah, Koji also in chat mentioning, you know, Koji playing in the bracket himself and claiming code like. Yeah. I know even it's the people easy. just watching can do it themselves. Hmm. So, you know. Oh, I already see a code claim from someone. Thank you. Do 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 buy. I hope I'm saying that. I I'm so bad with names, man. I that's one thing I gotta step Probably. up. Probably. That's one do one buy. thing I need to step up as a commentator is learning names. Get you know not fumble the mix-ups on the uh, on pronunciations. Yeah, not really. You, you just ball until you, you get it right. Or just <laughs> preemptively say yeah. Sorry if I butcher anyone's yeah. name, and you will be fine. I said it right. Okay, I'm go okay. I'll good then. I'll good. Then. I'll good. Then. Okay. <laughs> I saved it. But yeah, so. I picked Pet and Koji. Both players are in the lobby already. So, you know, we're gonna start top 8. So, let's see <clears throat> how this match is gonna head out. Pet, seed 1 for tonight. So, uh, you know, Koji definitely has a tough battle ahead. Certainly, it's, but... it's really funny that, uh, you know, uh, Potemkin, who is considered uh, like really bad, still, uh, still cooking on the character. I mean, it doesn't matter if it is oh, considered no. bad. If you're an expert, what does it matter? Yeah. I see Fundex in the chat. Hello, Fundex. Hey. Wish you could have participated in the bracket tonight, but I understand. But you can claim the code. Yeah, while you're here. Exactly. Claim some codes. Well, we are seeing bad. Putting on that pressure against oh, Koji. No. Oh, the second pot bastard of the round. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, it's never been more over. That was. Oh, but the stun dipper over the flick. Fireball. Oh, now gets back thrown. Pet is ready throw. for the Kaioki. Oh, Banish on the flick. Locks this one. Oh, no. The oh. Backdash. <laughs> backdash into pot. Bastard. Pet is cooking. Throws that boost. Trying to catch something with a flick. In the distance, or Slyhead gets cold with the stun edge. More blocking. Stun edge. Ah, I mean, Slyhead, I don't know what I am so yep. saying right now. I like I like how Pet plays. Pet plays. Pet, Pet uh, plays like very. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but like every time I watch him, it seems he's just annoyed at his opponent and everything he do and just wants to get, the, get it over with as fast as possible. Just like doing the most, you know, like. Mini skill but optimal things. Sitting, sitting full screen and spamming slide head like we saw, doesn't matter. If it wins me the game, I'm gonna do it. Bagdash Podbuster, I will do it every single time I need to. I really like that. It's like that non nonchalant, you know, just doing what needs to be done playstyle. And also, I mean, it, it is... can look quite toxic sometimes, but you know, that's 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 kind of the grappler moment. It is what it is. Uh, for example, I in the event that the person did in Jada. I thought to Anders it was, yeah, you have to play patiently. Yep. I mean, I mean, I, I was playing against him, therefore I was playing Axel and Pot. It's kind of a, a matchup, but the thing is that you have to play patiently. If you need to just be there and stand, be there, stand. There's going to be the, op the opponent, the moment, and we are seeing it right now. It's the moment that Pet can go aggressive, and look at the damage that he's yep. doing. 
At 100 meters, too. Extension, maybe? Yeah. <gasps> Gets the hit. Oh, wait, it's a kill. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Pet is here to put a show. And that is your show. He's instantly dead. <laughs> exactly. Pia, claim a code for the gamers. While you're yeah, here. claim that code. I'm gonna call out every single person I see in chat that I know. That I know personally, just call them out, you know, for not claiming a code. Yeah, bad on you. For not claiming the code. But now, Koshi, trying to lame out if you will say it, but no. Trying to play the, the good game that's more defensive, more zoning based, but... Pet catching him and putting himself already onto that corner, and it's going to be difficult. Nope, Koji finds the opening, and now goes aggressive. Yeah, so I think the stage oh, from... or oh, air grab. All right, makes gets blocked, and Pet sitting on that hundred meters, so can do something funny with it. Oh, 75 of it already gone. Oh my god, we just saw like 150 meters from both players just fly out. Oh, the delayed flick. Slide of IRC gets the knockdown. Oh, now it's time. Yeah, catch waits for the yeah. back dash. Oh, another reset. Oh, and the wake up TP Ooh. from Koji. Yeah, good look at DP on, the, on that six. That's the six K or six thing, right? The sliding is six K, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah the, sli the sliding form of my six K. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, oh my god. No matter the character though, and the opponent, Conchu will always find a way to air throw you. Exactly. Oh, good oh, oh, block no. on that dust, but look at how much bar those pets have. Yeah. Oh my god, oh, the pressure. Oh, oh decides to burst. Let's see if that choice will be worth it. Oh, gets the knockdown. 50 meter on hand. Oh, tries to. Oh no, the back dash. Oh, wake up, Artiel. Oh my, gets blocked! Oh, gets blocked. Yeah. Two uppercuts more than enough in the position. Yep. And now Pet. On the position to go to, to win the finals right now. Yeah. Let's see oh if my God. going to allow him, but. Yep. Bulls not connecting, but Pet being on top of Koji right now. It was a really okay. smart first, uh, burst from Pet just bursting in between those interval frames on the DP, so the DP whiffed. And he, did, he still didn't get hit by the burst. Oh no, another desperate DP, and that's it. Oh, and that second one. Pet going for his own. I can't remember the name, doesn't matter. Immediately, don't want to be there. Recognize that Yakoji yeah, will go for that DP. Make it safe and kill him. Another podbuster. It's more than enough to kill someone at that, at that life range. Yeah. Yeah, strong performance from both players, though. Not to shy away, so. Pet moving into winner's final and Koji moving into loser's side, top 8. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna move to the other side of winner's final, which is gonna be Miri and k &E. And the winner of this set will have to face Pet, so, uh, you know, again, as always before, you win that previous mm -hmm. game, you're like relieved that, okay, I'm, I'm done with the hard opponent, that already a better one is awaiting you, so... It is yeah, not stopping. It... It is what it is. I mean, it, it's the tournament. It is what you already signed up for. Yep. You signed up to get beaten by uh, very strong opponents. And if you manage to beat someone, yeah, next one is going to be stronger because yep. that's how tournaments work. But we love that. And we are here for that. Yep. Right. So, Miri, Miri deciding to rock the Slovenia flag. Ooh. Instead of the Finnish one, it's not really. But hey, I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm not uh, discriminating. If someone asks for a different flag, they shall. They shall receive what they ask for. A Slovenia cat. I yeah, mean, <laughs> the cat. I am seeing a beautiful cat. Or if yeah. not, there. Yo, chilling on the bed. I I, I have Miri at home. <laughs> <laughs> Miri waiting on the setup with the Venom. So, you know, the classic uh, classic picks on both players and the jam. Hmm. So, uh, yeah. Let's see how 
the gamers are gonna tackle this one. <clears throat> All right. Oh, and it's starting off with the ball set instantly. Two, bo two ball set. Ooh, nice um, hit. Yeah. Always oh, trying to set those two balls if he can, but Kenny is not making it easy. Oh my god, Erfro, oh. what a teleport! Erfro er after teleport. Kenny was reading hard at that point. Now trying to catch up that landing, but oh, oh get this box. Oh, and the throw. Alright, gets the hit, gets the knockdown, and the pressure, no never mind, gets, just gets raw hit. With the meaty, sets up more balls. Yeah, plus as hell. Oh, gets the hit. No way to end, no, never mind. Oh, yeah. The snipe. <laughs> Got sniped. At the end, Miri set up too many balls and Kenny had to play at Miri's pace. But now, Kenny managed to get an opening, but nearly immediately closed it, but up oh, no. to get open again, and also messing up that burst, which means that nobody is going to get created there, but and Kenny is going to be enjoying it. Catching me all the way, and pleasures there, but Miri can't get out, Miri can't get out. Right, both players up around. Ooh. The puffball whips. Oh, but gets it by the overhead. But now you're stuck in the corner yourself. Never mind, we're escaping into another corner. Oh my god, the damage! Yep. Oh, no! Never mind. Oh! Okay. I was going to. To get a small heart attack if that if that missed. Yeah. Oh, it was some funny setup just moving the overhead to get the final OTG, but hey, it landed. Hmm. It may, may have been intentional. If it was intentional, that was really funny. If that's intentional, I'm going to go and find K &E and tell him that it's not good to trip people's heart like that. 100% for real, for real, on guard, no cap even. <laughs> Gets the throw, yeah, decides the burst. Oh my god, the trade, definitely not in Miri's favor. Oh, and the... No. Oh my god, the damage! There's like yeah, two stray specials, and they just turned up into like 50%. Jam I mean, is ruthless. Jam. Yep. Oh, jam. and the raw dragon kick! No. <laughs> Speaking of that. Random dragon kick. Get the... Get the damage, and... The... And Miri forced to pop burst, and now once again, Kenny, on that pressure. Catches the landing, and yep, see Amiri on to next round. Yeah, potentially the final round too. Hmm. So let's see how Kenny does this round, or, or you know, Mary just gets that run back and starts cooking. Oh, oh, gets the counter in 5k, but no, full confirm. Oh my god, the puff ball again. Ooh, the empty low doesn't get blocked. Mix. Ooh, the back throw. All right, we're gonna see Oki now, or just, you know, yeah, that chip damage sequence from Venom just throwing out the balls to either burn your meter or do a lot of chip damage. Oh I my mean, god. It depends because if you consider that Miri can get out of here, we will try to see some setup, but nope, can he say, yeah, you are not playing. Yep. Yeah, and Miri... Can he say, Mere not even deciding to burst, so I assume that, you know, didn't want to get baited. So holding mm. the burst. And yeah, that's... Uh, I don't know if at that point, if you are at that, you're in a position that... Even if you're going to get baited into into a grab, even just yeah. burst. Yeah, it, it depends because sometimes, for example, what happens is that uh, people are super trying to hard bait your burst. And then what ends up happening, they intentionally like drop combos or something and get another chance. So it's kind of like a mind game. So sometimes you're like, okay, you know, they're, they're gonna want to burst. So I'm just gonna let them burst. And the opponent is like, yeah, just, you know, 
bait my burst, I'm just gonna, you're gonna drop the combo, I'm gonna get another chance to live, so it's it's tiny little, tiny little mind games like these that are always nice, so sometimes if, you know, person dies with a burst, they, they usually know that the burst is there, but, you know, the choice was done that, there and there, granting KNE the victory and sending Mirror to losers, which now we will move to, and it's gonna be Kuko versus Seija, so it's gonna be a, I just realized, oh my god, it's gonna be a member. No? I think it's a Maimer. What? Yeah, I think I think uh, we have a Maimer. I mean, we've seen Kuko versus Kenya, that was May, and to Seisha. Yep, that was another May. That's a May mirror. God bless us all. Yeah, that's gonna be a. Uh, it's gonna be a. Uh... That's going to be interesting. Yeah, this is going to be set of all time. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see who's going to take that one. But, but, while we wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it all time since we didn't claim any goals. I'm going to do it all time. I'm going to keep it up on the screen between every game. So we get the, you know, money for the players. Again, I see new names in the chat. People claiming, uh, claiming, people writing the bracket uh, link. So, you know, instead we're going to do the match ring link. And, uh, yeah, exactly. It's not difficult. Yeah, yeah again, you, it's super need, easy. Yeah, if you need a, a pinpoint guy to how to do it, just scroll up a little bit on the on the chat. Koji, put up the best, best, best guy that you will ever need. It's that. You need to click the code, and then just follow the the big yeah. buttons that says claim codes. So, like, click the link and claim code. It's literally yeah. big. Yeah, again, I'm gonna show you even, since, you know, I didn't claim a code myself, but now it's gonna be perfect whoa, time whoa. to show it. And it's gonna be the perfect time to show it. So, you sign in with your account on the top right here, you can already see my name, I'm logged in. But, you sign in, and then, again, you press this button, and that's it. See? 25 dollars. Oh, cents, sorry, 25 cents. No, I wish it was 25 dollars. Yeah, I wish, I wish, <laughs> I wish it was 25 dollars, but unfortunately it's only 25 cents. Which still, again, if all of us claim it, it helps the players out immensely. So yeah, again, you saw I did like what two, two, I you opening the link, logging in, picking the code, picking where you log in if logging in. It's four codes, four clicks, four clicks. It's four and clicks. Ch change the screen. We I, are we yeah. are gaming. I already am ready to change it. Oh my god, yeah. this is gonna be this is gonna be a set of all time. Yeah, it's going to be a set of all time dolphins. Uh, but, but well. Let's try to be as professional as we can because Seija forcing Kukos burst early. Seija on base May skin. Kukos on the red one. Ooh, nice IV. Ooh, the free K counter hitting. Let's see the damage. See, that's gonna be the funny part about this uh, about the mirror because both of these characters do good damage, but at the same time both of these characters have really high guts. So it's gonna be kinda of nullifier, right? Like, okay you do high damage, but you know I have high life, so. We're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see a nice interaction alongside the entirety of the Sea World coming out right now. Like that? I think oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one thing. Do I realized? Uh, okay, so Kuko is red, right? Is that red? Yeah, Kuko's I think it's on red. the red mate. Yeah, and Seija is default. And I think Seija that's default, default. mate. All right. So, so I realized that so it's easier for everyone. I'm gonna do this. Oh, but gets the counter hit. Oh, and the free K. Get the full combo sets up Mr. Dolphin, Air Dolphin, the second one. <laughs> Probably a... Oh. Ooh, nice Over. combo. Finishing with the Ensenga. Getting the knockdown. Alright, let's see. Oh my god, the cheap YRC into the command grab. Oh, and Kuko, nice burst. Last second. Oh my god, both players just for... Oh my god, the sea world is coming. Yeah, man. Uh, what was that? The, the beach ball hit and then the... Then the whale hit. Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh, nice start. Yeah, it because it is something that you will only be able to watch here on the full main mirror. Yeah, getting to knockdown. But again, it's gonna be cool because since both of these since it's a mirror, right? Both of these players know their character in and out. So you're gonna see a lot of knowledge. See like that, like blocking a lot of these mixes and being ready for everything. Mm. Let's see. Oh, 
Gang the 6P. Gang the 6H. Oh, and the Max. 2D. Oh, and the double 6K. Oh. The cheeky Max. With the 6K, is getting Seja the first hit. Exactly. Uh, Seja the first one. Pilla I'm, Pilla, I'm actually not sure, but I think they do. They, I think they do. I think not. Oh, if you, if they I don't think it's gonna be unblockable since Strife like that. Like they probably move, but I don't think, I don't think they're gonna be like that. I would have to check. I'm not sure because it, it's not that common in Strife. That situation is very like rare. It is because they're gonna that have some more limited. Yeah. Kind of flashes. Most of the overdrive are more cinematic. At least the ones that you usually see. But no, yeah. I think that they block. They get stop. Yeah. Not sure I would have to, you know, live it up after the tournament and tell you. Mm. As we were talking. Oh my god, a 2D 2H counter hit. This might end the round. Yeah, it is. It is going to end the round. Seija is showing dominance on this mirror. Probably knowing more than, than Kuko. Yes, I don't set point right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the fire counter oh. hit. Nice finishes. With the full Oh my god, this damage, I just noticed. Jesus Christ, there's so much. We are talking about May. Yeah. You know that when she HP gets a full is combo. Red. Yeah, full HP body red. Seija is all. I think that's all. Oh my god, yeah. that's perfect. Seija rendered unable to do nothing, getting perfect. Yeah. All right. Good first round on Kiko's side. So let's see if they can take the second. You know, and put the put the game on the board. Oh, nice block on the Ooh. goalpost. Yeah, good block there. And both both of them trying to trade dolphins, but and also this the spacing game. Interesting. Now, oh, <gasps> the two H hitting yeah. behind. Oh, but the drop anchor connects and now it's Seja's turn. Yeah, Kuko needing to burst their air dolphin is going to miss. Good blocks there. Beach ball gets popped. But Sugeki gets involved. Two more beach balls in the screen and Seja eats one of those, which means that Kuko now has the opportunity to deal some good damage. There's the full combo. Look at that life bar. I don't see it much. Yeah. There's just so much mayhem right now, just life bar vanishing. Oh my god, what's the command grab? Oh yeah, it gets the burst. Oh my god, the hit. Oh, it's a oh, there you go. <laughs> All scrambly situation there at the end, but Kuko managed to uh, hit the second game. So, you know, we're going to final. So, we're going to get the full blast of this mirror. You know, we're going to final game. We, we might even see the final round. So, let's see if we go there. The full enjoyment of the, of the May. I mean, we're going to be seeing at least some more games. Yeah. Big ball to do nothing. <laughs> oh, 6 H connects. Set up with that big ball with the dolphin and Kuko blocks everything. Nice. Oh my god, the air is... Oh, just pressing air buttons. Oh, no. <laughs> this player is just pressing JS and JH. Oh, nice punish on the beach ball. Nice. 2K2D. Yeah, he decides to burst. Gets the block. Oh, the beach ball wire, see? Oh, the 6 h counter Will the beach ball come in clutch? Never mind. I was hoping the beach ball is gonna be like a free combo extension, you know, just come in in last second to get the, uh, to get more of the, the hits done. Could be fun, but now Kuko gets Seija onto that corner. Oh, and Seija gets the back throw. Yeah. 3k connects, How beach you ball. Oh, the beach ball! Oh! And up the off Yeah, damn. Seja again on set point, but we saw this last game, right? Uh, they are being up around and Kuko just bringing it all back. Alright, getting the first hit of the Nsenga. Nice, oh my god, we're going dolphin to dolphin. Oh, but now Kuko gets something, gets another knockdown and oh, there's no bleeds that's going to save you, there's Seja. Kuko gets a full combo and sets up the Oki. Good blocks on, on her side, but still not looking good. And we are going to the double Luigi situation. Final game, final round. Yeah. 
We're getting the full blast of this mirror. Ooh, nice yeah. anti-air with the 5p. Gets the full combo. Nice. That's something off it. <gasps> yeah, deciding to burst early. You know, just before you even take any damage or the mix-up, just get off me. <gasps> oh no, the whiffs. Right, pressure starting. Oh, the VK RC. Oh, nice smash. Oof. Nice smash and, and now Kuko once again. Going for the pressure and clips. Seiya. Going to the plan. Going through. Oh no. This is not going good for Seiya. Tries to do something, but Kuko's managing to get those straight hits and now gets an almost combo and gets up. Okay, misses the command grab. Seiya gets that setup. And I'm saying too, too much May on, on screen. Yeah. Yeah, I was. Oh my god, yeah. I was gonna the say that. The fuck just happened? Yeah, I was gonna say that Kuko almost like had it, uh, had it ready, but uh, unfortunately, just Seja making the run back like that, taking it two one against Kuko. So one May is eliminated from the bracket. The other one moves on. So yeah, Seja gonna have to move on to fight, uh, fight Koji. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, did, did Koji fight a... I was gonna ask, no, Koji, I don't, I don't think Koji fought a Mayotte today. So. Koji bet 2S before. Yeah, I was thinking if uh, potentially early in the bracket there was another May being there, but that's gonna come a bit later, since now we're gonna see the Leo versus the Dizzy of uh, Goofy versus Lily. Now the other side of the losers. So again, exactly. as we gather the players into the lobby, I'm gonna put it up on the screen any second. Where is it? Where? Where is it? I already see. Damn, we claiming codes. There we go. Yeah, we're we're claiming codes. Me, thank you, Mac Payne, Cosmico. That's uh, that's Fundex. That's Fundex. Ah. No, uh, and then the three hat. I yeah, am yeah. Doing... yeah, That's that's that, three hatch that is Fundex. Yeah, that's Fundex. That's Fundex. Why? <laughs> and then and then stay golden. Thank you everyone for claiming a code. Again, we're 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 19 down. We're almost halfway done with it. So as we're halfway done with this bracket, so you know, moving <laughs> moving along very nicely. So you know, if we oh, yeah. keep up the pace, we could claim all the code. So again, if you have a friend or anyone, you know, send them the send them the send them the the link. The link. And yeah. just uh, send them claim just code. spam. Exactly, just spam the code. We want to edit. We want the word to spread about the glory of the salty U codes. But we have both players already. Yep. Onto the stations. Ready to rumble. Oh. Oh. Mm. What is the button? What is the uh, button? Uh, I. No. Nope, that's not there it. You go. This one. Whatever, I spelled it even wrong, whatever. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> My pad is connected, I have to work with a keyboard. And yeah, for some reason I agree. The controls for for, for Guilty Gear on, on keyboard are strange. Yeah. yeah, it's an old game. It's it's kind of the thing with a lot of the older fighting games. I think the only fighting game on PC that actually has really good PC controls for now is like SF6. Because it's kind of an oversight, right? People usually expect just you to play with a controller. So, I like the one that um, Plus R has. Oh yeah, Plus R actually might also have good keyboard. I didn't play Plus R really, so I don't know, but since considering it's a remake or like a port, it's probably gonna be very good. I mean, it's a port of the PSP version, yeah. so... Ah yeah, and the game, well, um, this is made of paper and Leo has lots, lots of damage. The end. Yep. Oh my god, the trade going in the favor of Goofy, getting the restand. Let's see the mix. Nice block on the overhead, doesn't move the second one. No. A Lily already, almost no life. Leo's blender still continuing there. And oh no. This is probably going to get this in no time if this continues. Had to burst. Tries to send that the pinwheel and one fish, but to no avail. Block, instant air grab, and Goofy making quick work out of Lily. Yeah. Yeah, Lily was fighting for her life in the corner right now, and... 
and yeah, it just didn't work out. Well, now gets the grab, sets up one of the projectiles, one fish is there, and ah, okay. well, at least we're getting another throw, one laser gets a side switch, once again set up. Good zoning right now, and oh! Yeah, <laughs> All right, set up the big fireball. And again, I'm realizing that the big fireball, like the the big sonic boom, is quite really good against Lizzie. It helps you. I, I I'm not sure what the properties between these two are. I assume though that the big Leo fireball beats a lot of the stuff she throws out on the screen. So, you know, good good right. idea from from Luffy. But anyone in chat who knows, I you know, Fandex was in the chat. So if Fandex can correct me on that, if the if the heavy fireball from Leo is a uh, you know more powerful than the than the dizzy uh, dizzy projectiles. I would say that it's probably um, more powerful than most of the fishes and the sides. Yeah. But the, I, I would say that the lasers go through. Yeah. But... Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure myself that, you know... Like, it makes sense that the laser would go through, right? Since the laser is, like, instant, but... Who knows? As we were talking, though, Lily putting one round for herself. Ooh, blocks the flash key. A good block and now getting that setup. Fire pillar. One laser air approach works. Ice pillar again and Another look at those setups. Yeah. Ah, rough spot we are not... Oh the super Oh my god, is it hit? Yeah it just yeah, hits. Yeah, it, it it hits first on this is fit and those, and then goes through the whole screen. Therefore Lily is still alive on this contest. One one. And what a ton shit we're seeing when Lily gets to play. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree on that? Yes. I definitely agree. But, again, you know, set is not over. Yeah, set's not over and Goofy doing gorilla things, not letting DZ play at all, but now side on X, good use of fishes, but now Goofy and Lily, oh, gets that set of the laser is there, freezing, 6H, fire pillar, more lasering, what a air grab. Damn, Lily turning it completely around, she was down a game, you know, losing that, potentially the set point, and brought it all back now, so let's see if Goofy can, uh, Bring the shine of the first game, where he just cleanly swept Lily. Can bring that magic back, or uh, Lily will just continue that <coughs> first momentum. Ooh, but the counter hit on the back turn. Hit on the back turn. And Lily stuck on the corner, gets the back throw incident, and now... Dizzy has good conversion out of that throw, but look at that setup. Fish connects, burst, oh, no. misses completely, and now... Goofy with that flash kick. And Lily is going to get that 2-1! Yeah. yeah, Goofy with the burst and then batted it all on the on the flash kick. While uh, while Lily was still in recovery, so the flash kick also just completely whiffed, uh, giving, uh, giving Lily that punish to take the whole set. So it means Lily will move on to fight Miri. And we're gonna have Koji versus Seija now. So we're gonna have a... We're gonna have uh, an East European face-off. See, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be very real. I don't want Dizzy and Strife. <laughs> I don't want her. <laughs> you don't want. Her I don't want Dizzy for, and Strife. <laughs> for which reasons? I am. Um, I'm open to, to so, hear that. So, so for me, for me, the main issue I have with Strife right now is that we are barely getting actual rushdown characters. So I don't want Dizzy because that archetype, like of what she kinda does, is enough of those characters in Strive. So I would want to see them add like Jam, Slayer, just like someone who's really up close in your face. Because almost the entirety of the DLC we've had since since release, we didn't get a single rushdown character, like an actual pure rushdown character that's in your face. Every single rushdown character in, in that game is from release. 
by Chip, Giovanna. I would like to disagree a little bit on that. Who do you, who do you think so is, is like really rushed down its right from the DLC cast? Chaos. Oh yeah, that's kind of Th true. Yeah, that's, that Chaos technically can so yeah. technically is a more long range character. Fuck off. <laughs> Chaos can rush down way, way almost way better than than Chip can. Yep. On Strive. Yeah, Chaos kind of is like an enigma to all that. He kind of does everything. But uh, you know, I wouldn't really still call him call him a rushdown since he. Can I don't even know what I would call him. He's such a weird archetype. I mean, look at, at what it's called in the in the tooltip next to his name, shooting. Yeah, it's just shooting, yeah. <laughs> so, so, you know. But because of that, I would want, I don't want to see the Z. I want to see like Jam, Slayer, as I mentioned. I think those two characters would really benefit. Mm, or like, or like Abba would also be cool. Like, bring back more of the plus star characters. I mean, if they manage to not be broken as all hell, yeah, yep. I would like to see Abba back. But back to Exert, and we're gonna see. Uh, speaking of speaking of rush down and being in your face, now we have May. <laughs> yeah. So let's see if Koji will know how to deal with the dolphin menace. I mean... Oh, nice Afro. See, I'm interested. In, I'm interested in how Koji will deal with this because uh, Koji is really good at air for it, right? You see it every time mm. Koji plays. Can air for anyone. And uh, Mace in general kind of want to spend a lot of time in the air, or they like a jump a lot, so let's see if uh, Koji will be ready to just, you know, every anytime Mace jumps, just swat her out of the air like that, just instantly get her. Or if uh, Mace air movement is going to be tricky enough to make it all with, but as we're talking... Oh, there you go, the cheeky reset! Cheeky reset, but... So he's managing to find the opening and put some damage on those two three Ks. Paying dividends, but nothing can beat a good old stand deeper because that move still busted. Yep. All right, but still. Oh, nice. Yeah, Koji just waiting behind the fireball while it hits Aja. All right, gets the knockdown, sets up the JD, the pressure. There you go. The Kai Catlings are being used. Yes. But oh, side switch, and oh, could not react at the end, but Seija was going for something interesting. Good pressure with the Dolphins. That six it's spam at the end, paid the work, but ah, the Seiji and Koji sets up a heavy damage, yep. but... Yeah, the yeah. six is there. Oh. Seija potential final interaction. Oh, the load, the 5H didn't connect. It was funny, the, two, the 2k connected, but the 5h kind of with the pushback on that was interesting. But still, the far slash ended it all. A stab through the heart, mm. giving Koji the first round, or the first game. First game to Koji. And in a very dominant fashion too, so... Koji was kind of just setting the pace of, this, of the match. But, we saw that last set, right? One of the players... Oh, what was that? Oh my god. A uh, dolphin that did a extreme teleport no scope 360. <laughs> that was a little bit extreme. And now we are seeing this good setup on on Seija's side, getting those dolphins where she needs those to be. But Koji also adept on using the, those stanages and the sigils, not letting much setup be played. Yeah, there you go. Getting the heavy stun edge. Oh, and the Twitch trades! <gasps> Doesn't get the full air combo from it though. Alright. Getting the back throw, no! Sets up the dolphin. Alright, there we go, and gets the round! Good job on Sage at this time. Managing to avoid most of. Decisions and the stunage at the end. But we're seeing her this time. Maybe not doing as, that much airborne and right <gasps> a little bit more on the Dolphin, but still Koji not letting her play as she, as she desires. Yeah. It's almost oh my god, a bullet only... hell right now. Yeah. Avoid avoid the avoid the Kai pressure. Oh my god, speaking of bullet hell, the beach ball connected, but still no conversion. Gets the MIDI stunage. Yeah, but the 2D, oh my god, yeah, it makes the DP with one of the weaknesses of the Kai DP that it gets really easily low profiled. 
So uh, any character who has like a nice low profile and can hit it as a melee, just Kai is gonna really struggle with that. Okay, I have to remember internally that if I ever get to knock down a Kai, 2k for the win. Yeah, 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 like like a lot of characters can kind of like play around it, that they do like a melee a bit far away. That's a... Uh, uh, that's that's low profile and the Kai DP really doesn't hit that low, so it's just gonna make it with as you saw right now, right? Like Seija did a, a spaced 2D, I believe it was, and it just made the DP with complete land. You know, you with it you cannot RC, so you just get a full punish. Mm. But now we are one to one, and Seija is crawling back onto onto this cushion of going in onto loser semis. Koji still no wanting to let her pass. And we're seeing a good pressure on that corner with those scissors and, and well, guys, full key because. Yeah. But burst on Seija's side. Ooh, the 6p. Alright, does it set up the okay? Ah, set up the seal instead. I see just Seija just in the air, just jumping around. Because it's really scary when Mei is in the air. You gotta be it really is. careful. She has so many good air options to just kind of throw out. And if he gets hit by one of them, it's GG's. You take so much damage. Like that, right? Look at this. Oh. oh one random hit and blocks the burst. Yeah, this is good. Okay, counter hit. And now Seija is on set point. Yeah. And Koji going with an empty burst cage. I genuinely don't think, even if he takes this round, we're gonna see the burst come back at all. So, Koji Probably playing not. without that crutch of, uh, you know, if he makes a mistake, he can have a, a way out. So it's up to him, and then DP potentially. Oh my god, the rock blitz counter hits. Yeah, good counter hit and oh, punishes that Deco out of the wall. And But look at the damage, All, also half bar for, well, what one quarter of bar. Ah, DC, SGG. the spoon. Yeah, GG. And Seisha is going to be advancing on loser semis. Yeah. Strong, very strong. Performance yeah. from Sage we brought it down back after that first dominant game from Koji and just brought it back like that. Oh boy, I think Exert, please, please work. I don't want to like restart the game. No, nope, we don't want, we don't want. Arxis, please make your games work. <laughs> Why the game that works best is the one that wasn't technically developed by Arxis? Yeah. The, ma the magic of uh, outsourcing uh, games to others. Oh, oh, there we go. Something happened. Uh, no, wait uh, again. Uh, oh, there uh, we go. Uh, okay. okay. I don't have to remake the lobby because. <laughs> no. I was scared. We know of... what's the. Yep. We know the cool print, and that is um, someone pulling the cable. <laughs> yep. Give it time and patience, and things will magically fix itself. But now we're gonna move to the other side of Ulus Top 8, and the winner of that will have to fight Seija, so it's gonna be Mini. That Venom versus Lily on the Dizzy. So we're gonna see a lot of. A uh... lot of set play. Yeah. A but... lot of this stuff on the screen. Yeah, this matchup is strange. Because Venom wants to be doing his side, set up a couple of balls, and then going hard. And Dizzy wants to, to get the knockdown, set up a fish, bubble, and go in, which is. Interesting proposition. Yep. And it's gonna be just way too much stuff on the screen. I don't wanna know how many how many like you know <laughs> balls and then we're gonna have like three balls on the screen, then we're gonna have fish on the screen, we're gonna have a it's just gonna be a galore of projectiles just flying around. It's going to be. But before galore of projectiles, I wanna see a galore of codes being clicked. Nice little transition right there, I'm proud of that one. <laughs> so again, everyone, you, the link has been posted before in the chat, so if you open that link and press few buttons, you can claim a code. We claimed, we claimed a bit more codes since last game, so again, keep it, keep it coming. Give the, give the players some uh, something to fight for. Koji GG's. Great showing as always. Yeah, we already are on the $10, so... Technically, probably, probably someone can already afford. As it was mentioned before, can we get the winner of this tournament, the McDonald's uh, meal? So I assume now we yeah. probably can. Yes, at least the kebab is is a is a for sure thing. Yep. Oh, smash! We are seeing already. Yeah, Miri, a 
use a completely abusing te the teleport on Venom's side. Yeah. Not letting Lily do nothing and oh. yeah. Dark Angel is Yeah. Eat your bar, eat your life. Despite having full uh, meter though, Lily decided mm -hmm. to not uh, not have the I was surprised by that since you know that that uh Full burst gauge at least would let you have maybe 50%. I'm not sure exactly how much if you fully have the Dark Angel it uh, it drains. I hope it doesn't drain more than 50. That would be funny. Um, I would say that would, uh, a quarter more probably. I don't know if more, but quarter of your tension gauge. I will bet on that. And oh, oh and it's a dark hole. Hole. I had a super. Yeah. That was that was such a fast game right now. Yeah, it's a thing that Venom. Has way better mobility and only needs to set up one ball. Yep. One ball, kick it to, to the easy. Okay, easy. Then I have teleport and I can do whatever I want. But and this it needs to get the knockdown, fish, bubble, everything. Alright. So, yeah, and Lily again in the it. corner instantly, just like mid starting around, getting the strong neutral, like winning that first neutral interaction, and then just putting Lily in the corner and Lily trying to escape. Yeah, there you go, the full ball gets the gets the super. Oh, oh, it deflected the fish. Interesting. Yeah, that fish that fish has a shield for, for its first skill, so it can take a, li a little bit. But we are seeing the amount of spam that Mir is sending on screen. There is so much that Dizzy can do in this situation. Yep. Has put has some. Buttons, but not many defensive ones, and we are seeing it Co almost completely unable to get out of the pressure that he is putting on. Yeah, there you go. Good start. Oh, yeah, this is a tough spot for Lily right now. Like, very, very strongly just taking the rounds. So, Lily definitely needs that momentum and just that little confidence boost to, you know, start cooking herself. Because if you don't get that confidence boot right now, it's that final round, right? Mirror will just mm -hmm. swoop this, and you're in a very bad place. So let's see, 100 meter, we could see a Dark Angel, if there's gonna be even need for one. Oh, decides to burst. Oh, uses the super. Oh, and the bullet from behind, and gets confirmed! Miri, taking it 2-0. We're very, very, very fast and strong set. Certainly it was, and that's something that probably any any person that played this will know that this matchup can be nuts, in the sense that you are locked out probably harder than if you are playing a rush down. Yep. I'm going, to, I'm going to try and check the, if this loop has the more or less matchup spread ready for XR, just to see what people said about that. Or if any, you know, Dizzy players are in, the, or Venom players even are in the chat, they can, you know, give us the, give us the tea on the, on that. And as you're researching mm -hmm. that, we're gonna be moving back to winners, which is gonna be winners final now of Pet versus Kenny. So we're gonna have Denmark versus Austria. I see Pet already, you know, joining the lobby, being ready. It's interesting what Duslop says. There are two tier list of matchups, and from easy to hard, one puts the Venom matchup in on the harder side, the other puts it in the. Yeah, it's easy. Yep. It's good. Hey. Venom, this is it 14 12? Yeah, 14 2 matchup, yes, sir. See, I had an I had interesting talk with a few friends recently mm. about like matchups and like the numbers and such that like uh, it's kind of funny what some people consider like let's say like a 7 free matchup and what other people consider 7 free matchup you know some people let's say like oh yeah I don't really like this matchup 7 free and then you see another person's like yeah this matchup is completely unwinnable it's 7 free it's kind of funny that like some players value uh, value like you know the numbers differently it's 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 on one hand I kind of appreciate it because it, it kind of shows that, you know, people just over-exaggerate what they mean. But on the other hand, it's kind of, when you do the numbers, I'm kind of expecting some consistency. Like, if you look at two matchups, two matchup charts from two different people, and you see 7-3, I'm kind of expecting to be the same 
like you know the same like hardness let's say of the of the matchup so if i see like let's say one seven three and then another seven three i'm expecting it to be roughly the same difficulty but nowadays it's just people say yeah it's a seven three but it's like it's not as bad it's just the person feels like it the beauty beauty of a uh, beauty of matchup charts and like biased opinions yeah it's it's probably the most biased thing that you can find on the internet any any fighting game matchup charts at least on the modern side, on the old school, those are set on stone because games were like that. Yep. But on, mo on more modern games with way better skill expression, it can be happening. But now that we we're talking about charts, I want to look at that table. That table shows you who, who contributed to the prize pool. Yep. I want to see your name in that table. Yeah, as we wait for uh, for Kenny, Pat is already waiting in the lobby. So we're gonna give him some time. If not, I'm gonna do semi-final first. But uh, you know, while while we wait, so you know, keep that ADHD, that Zoomer brain running to do something. Get that subway surface game, but you can claim a code. Again, it's nice little just kill your kill the time while the player shows up. It's few clicks. It's not gonna take much time. It's very simple too. Just use that any account, any that which account you're writing with in chat. That Twitter account you used to rant about matchups on Twitter, you can use that one to sign in to the match arena and just pre pre uh, uh, press the claim code and that's it. You just press this funny button and that's that's all you need to do. And that's it. And you just see as everyone, all these lovely people who helped us out today. Oh, match arena? Can I press show more? There we go. All these lovely people who claim the code. You can be one of them. You know, get a call out from us showing that you appreciate the gameplay that is shown here on the stream. And helping out the players, because again, all of this goes to the players. So the winner of this tournament right now has ten dollars a win. So you know that's two kebabs, two two and a half kebabs for now. But it can be more if we claim all the codes. It will become like two more kebabs. Some I think something like that. Mm. But we are still waiting for Kenny. So let's see when he will show up. Let's, you know, I've been waiting for four minutes an hour. So if he doesn't show up in the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna put loser semi-final on. Your choice. Yeah, I, I you know, just so we have something running. So we have something, you know. We I I, I don't want to stall the stream and all that. So. And we, we have a match ready to go. Mm. Alright, Kenny responded, so Kenny is gonna come to the lobby. Nice. There you go, just instantly went to the lobby and hopped on the station. Let's go. Yeah. So, so the, the, you know, the winner's final got nice little uh, delay for the for the anticipation, make it a bit more dramatic. So let's see this matchup. I mean, we're saying startup, we're, we're sending some booty on Kenny's and then getting the space to load a card, but... Pet playing methodically as always. Yeah, yeah, just that, that's one thing, right? Like, the, since it's a rushdown versus grappler, rushdown technically should be in, at an advantage, but at the same time, uh, Pet has the access to that super strong uh, backdash. Mm. So you can backdash any chance of a pressure. Oh, but dash is the jumps to reset with the command grab. So let's see, do Eugene. Oh, but the backdash pull must have gets baited. Nice! DP in the air to beat the, the Hammerfall. Oh, and the Mega Fist gets beaten too, but the Pat has 100 meter. So we can see something funny. Oh, and the ICPM gets traded. Oh, I think this would be round. Yep. Alright. Yeah. That's an end. Pet taking his time, but gets the knockdown and pressure. Can he try to get some space to get ready? But ooh, 
there's a back throw and yeah, puts pressure in the corner. It's still really old. Yeah. Kenny jumping a lot, trying to get over. Oh, but the Trishula gets baited, but there's the 50 meter to make it safe with the PRC. Baits the burst, doesn't get the knockdown though. No, no knockdown, and now it's time for Kenny to, to get some combos of, of his own. Taking good damage off of Pet, but I mean, we are playing both, therefore we have a good amount of life. Yeah, but look at the card that is fully loaded. There it is! It whips! We think full charge Dragon and Pet right now, keeping K and his on the corner. 6H yeah. for the win! The classic move. Alright, Pet strongly taking game one. Kenny taking some time to think about what happened. Maybe realizing some, you know, mid mid set uh, <laughs> optimization or counterplay that he forgot about. So or made the wrong choice of joining a, a bracket with with pet on the yeah. <laughs> already in there. <laughs> Rethinking life choices of man, I have to fight for Temkin in, in winners final. As we're talking the about yeah. oh, there's one bastard. A bet keeping that pressure. Oh, up we are going. Oh, trying to bait them. Yeah, so there was a burst bait of some sort. Not sure. Oh, but the 6H. I think Pet tried to bait the DP, but he was too close, so he got clicked regardless. Okay, and he has so much meter. Yeah, builds the car now. Oh, bait. No, gets the counter hit. Ah. Uh. Almost con yeah, almost connecting with a with a mega people of team huge, but now Kenny gets a couple of good hits from pump to pump. And oh six P and there is hit knuckle. See you next round. Yeah, he, uh had definitely not stopping the the train. Oh my god, the six H on start hit and the reason of the pump. This is dirty on Pet's side. Oh, and the Another 6 speed. Oh my god, Pet is ready for everything. And the Podbuster, is that F? No, 50 meter. No. But 6 8 3 Shula connecting. Kenny is still alive, still having pours, but we are talking about Pet and Podemking, and you know, you know that only one hit is enough at this moment. Oh, it's, no. Yeah, it's spam to be, spam to be. But the end, far slash connects and. Pets are up to O. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the footsie is that Guilty Gear Snow for Throw 2P, you know. <laughs> and, and to be fair, I understand it, right? Pet was at such a HP disad, uh, advantage. So if, if, if Kenny ran into the 2P, he would lose the game. If he got clipped for something, what would happen? He would lose like maybe 30%. I know it's Jam, but still it's Potemkin, so I guess it would be like 30%. And he would still can just escape. So, you know, I'm just gonna throw the button out. Just very non committal. Oh my Five. god, wake up, Podbuster didn't get the medium time. And the reset again. And another one! Okay, gets back from with the fake medium. My guess would be there was another Podbuster set up, like just uh, trying to, trying to, trying to do like with button land Podbuster, but Kenny was just mashing throw. And it worked. Oh, but gets the clean hit, or the just frame. Yeah. It will save you a lot as far as you can, but now Kenny, uh, even though got that click, it got everything, but had to force boost because now Pet is putting him onto that corner. Okay, Pet's boost already off. Yeah. That was a, an interesting sequence of okay. uh, both players going for the air approach. <gasps> Tried the butt oh. slam, but Kenny nicely converting that air counter hit into the full combo, taking the round. Alright, don't count him out yet. He still oh, has some fight in him. Certainly, still, still having some fight, but oh, beautiful counter once again to to the booty. But this can also happen when you go too close to Potemkin. You with one pot faster. You with a second pot faster. And locks the dust. Okay. Right. Oh, tries to call out the jump out, but doesn't work out. I like I like uh, Paris doing that uh, grappler mind the game. Shimmy. Yeah, the shimmy yeah. because it, it looks like you're buffering the Potemkin Buster, right? So the player when it is like, okay, he's buffering Potemkin Buster. I'm just gonna backdash or do something, and then he does a media and you get counter hit. It's really nice. Oh my god, uh -huh. the wires into the. 
simple at best. A that's pet the... on set point. Yeah, pet on set point, and that's the only way that a Potemkin can end any round. Pot Buster, see you next round. Which means I have more chances to Pot Buster you again and now. Can he try not to get played into Pot's game? But if you are hitting a 6 8 out of the blue, you are not doing a good job on that sense. Try to wake up Pot Buster again, but Kenny was too far away this time. Ooh, nice flow over the slide head. With the with the 6H. Grab for KNE. Oh my god. Pet gets out, but still trades back. Age is just buys him some space. Not enough. Maybe it's but it doesn't matter if you get that pot buster. Oh and my another god, the one. Pressure. The pressure is coming. Oh yeah, decides yeah, you had to burst there. That would be like you would just die at that corner. Ooh, nice jump lore. And one mistake, one mistake. Fine. That is your mistake. What, was no? it, did did that taunt? I don't know. There's a high possibility that that happened. Okay, pet has burst. Remember. Yeah. There's your burst. Oh my god, the back oh, dash. No. no. Almost. Almost that back dash was enough. But Kenny, mashing as hard as he could those two Ks. We're going to a two one. I, was that yeah, a taunt? That was th it seems like it was a taunt. I think it was a taunt on the media. I think he maybe tried to baiting a DP or something. I think that was not a good taunt. Because I saw an animation I did re like genuinely don't recognize like from the top of my head on a move, so... Maybe try going for the BM finish, but you know... It turned out bad for you since Kenny took that game because of it. It's a tournament. Don't try to BM as hard. Only BM if you are a uh, one... Like 90% of your life ahead of your opponent. You are a one touch. PM after you win. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if the second chance for KNE will pay off. Since this is a very strong start already. It is, but oof, it's a hammer for. And already needs to back down for a moment. Okay. Good stifling there. Blocking dash. Booty, ah, probably let it run. That Urban oh. going to cost him the life, yes. That was like perfect damage, I think it just like perfectly ran out on that final hit. On the DP, so... Kenny, ooh, nice trade, gets the knockdown. Oh, the 2D whiffs. Oh, the wake up throw. Alright. Stuck in the corner, Kenny with a card, paints the Mega Fit. Dice with punish. Oh, and paste the burst. Oh, yeah, Kenny yeah. robbing pet of everything. Right now, yes. Not letting pet do nothing to romance just in case. And oh, also punishing a misgrab with his own. Oof. Damn. <laughs> I think we're doing a bit of BM. I think Kenny also just did like a BM combo. I think, I think the both players are kind of just. <laughs> Messing in each other's heads, you know. Let's see who takes the final game now. Where Pet uh, is on the chance of getting reverse swept, so... Let's see if uh, the reverse sweep will happen. Oh my god! But Not like this, I'm... though! It's like the third time that this happens on the round. Like. Okay, Call of the Dragon with, I don't know the exact name, but that sounded nice. Yep. Yeah, I don't know the super either. It's just, you know, it is the, it is the puffball super, the clean hit super, and then she has the funny <laughs> kick super. And just keep it simple. <laughs> Who cares about move? <laughs> yeah. Except when you mess them up for yep. a long time. All right, but Pat on set point once again. So let's see. Uh, if he will bring it in this time. Oh, he tries to reset with the pot buster, but gets six. Alright, I was gonna get. Doesn't game. matter. Yep. Uh, nice blocks. Oh, nice smash. Oh, the air attack. Oh, good conversion. Oh, we're using so much meter for oh. now. Then it turns out that the pot buster is the only choice out. Gets the knockdown. Oh, tries to 2 H. I saw there was some call out. Alright, let's see 50 meter. Pat can do something funny, and I guarantee yeah. you he will do something. <gasps> the blitz! Oh! Oh, tries to reset! It works out! 
That was a really scary situation for nice like, scary reset, right? Oh my god, no way. Oh. And the burst. Get burst. Oh like my god. <gasps> Don't I spin BRC and the Mega Fist! Mega Fist! Mega, oh, Mega Fist! The Mega Fistos! The... <laughs> Not the Mega Pistol incident. Ah, damn. Damn, what a good set, though. <laughs> hmm. I mean, this was the best set of the night for now, for sure. Both players having fun while they played. So, you know, it was hmm. really enjoyable. We almost saw a reverse week, too. That was a... Almost. It yeah. was so close. But so, so close it was. Damn, the players are just going at it. I don't have time to change stuff. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna do it on the fly. Oh, sorry, chat. I need to change it real quick because the players just went at it, so I'm gonna do it on the fly. Yeah. Players bang. Went at it, bang. Final thing. But, getting that there we opening. Go. The Dolphin and look at that pressure Viria already on that corner and I don't remember Venom having really good ways to get out of there. Yeah. Ooh, but the ball hits the 6k. Oh nice air throw. I I'm not sure how much HP does Venom have. Let me check Dustin real quick. How much if he's exactly like I was assuming he's like average life. But I might be wrong. Probably. Let me check. Do 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 do. Kai and Venom. Yeah, he has slightly less life than Kai because he has one guts while Kai has two guts. But they have the same defense, so he's pretty much just slightly. Yeah, he's just mid medium HP. Well, he's mid HP, which means that Seija can party harder on his body. Look at what one combo already. What half life? Disappear and now Sreja gets another counter hit and gets the back throw incident. Oh my god, yeah, decides to burst. Alright, nice, starts the pressure with the balls. Good jump out though. And decides to burst also the beach ball. Oh, the, oh my god, the beach ball hit the teleport on the frame instantly. It appeared. Nice air to air. Ooh, doesn't block the last overhead though. All right, will this finish round? Yeah, Hellfire counter, yes. making sure it gets taken. Heading to final round of game one. Seija setting up already the Marine World exposition for today, and oh, contact with 6H, that's lots of damage. Look at that life, look oh at how much of that bar. Life bar was red. Why was that? Eight, like 80%. 80%. That was like 80%, yeah. Like, yeah, it has to burst. Oh my god. Oh, the 5 beat! No, oh, does it get the full combo? That could have been game. Almost. Mir is a, is a one hit, right? Is yeah. a one hit right now. Yeah, just. And there is, and yeah. there is your one hit. One mistake and it uh, cost Miri the game? Damn. Yeah, just. Oh my god, what was that damage? I still cannot get over that. It was like 80% just from that. Yeah, you bleed yep. and 80%. Exactly. Blink, blink and 80%. Exactly. Hey, honest, is the average May combo. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god, the counter hit 5 tries to bait the burst, but Mirena not watching. Oh no, the burst has been baited now. Say just super greedy for the burst. Oh, Let's see. Oh, the super. Oh. Is the super? Ah, oh, that's the orca. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly how the super works, if it's, uh, if it's possible. Me neither. Because I, I never, never I that. never see this super used. Yeah, exactly. Let me see. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. It's only minus four, and it's frame one invul. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, not bad. Oh, and the ender is plus nine. Okay. Oh, interesting situation then. But Mary say, yep. Hold my cue. Yeah, so it's a, so it's technically like a pressure reset because it's plus nine when you do the when you do the orca at the end. He gets the hit though. Ooh, the uplift! Oh my god, that was such a weird situation with the blocking of it. Nice burst. <gasps> the freaking with oh the beach ball again. The, beach the, the, the teleport. Those beach balls are 
kind of annoying. Yep. It's one of those things where like uh, the the beach ball is kind of like on its own thing, right? It's not like, for example, Lena balls where he sends them their way and then they travel. Mm -hmm. Like the beach ball just kind of gets thrown out and it lingers for quite some time. So you have to play around it while the Mekin just do whatever she wants. She can jump around, she can follow it, she can go on the other side, but you, you still have to be careful with it. <gasps> the might be this ended! <gasps> and the train! Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't that right. It, it, it was oh, a jab on Ben on Mirror's side, yeah. I thought it traded with each other, but it didn't even trade. It wouldn't really matter nope. since Mira would just win the game regardless, yeah. but, you know. Yeah. And as Sage had to game one, now Mirror to game two. Oh no, the gold burst! This is going to be dangerous. Oh, and the super. Oh my god. Nice. Yeah, guess what? Sam. Yeah. Oh, there for. Alright, ball set up. Doesn't get blocked on the overhead. Gets the knockdown. Mix. No, just gets raw hit by the ball. And the and Dark Angel. Oh, Alright. Dark Angel, yeah. Welcome to next. Okay. Oh, but looks everything bad. Then yeah. follow up is. See ya next time. Yeah, I had a chance to jump. So, like, at least avoid the 50 50, right? When you're at least the high low. But mm. still takes so much meter and so much HP from you. So, you gotta do something about it. And despite how boss it is, you know, you're still stuck in that 50 50. At least you avoid the uninter like the unseeable complete 50 50. But it didn't matter in the end since Miri is now on set point after being down 1 0. Oh no, okay. I was scared we we're gonna see another 80% moment. Um, just be ready because there's a possibility because there's overhead keys, which means that lots of damage with, with the Senga follow up and the another. setup. Once again, another overhead and keys. Stun. And the stun, blitz, final game, final round. You played a bit of that, you know, Street Fighter, that, 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 that <laughs> those throw loops. Ooh, gets the, get the, nice, get the raw 6k, oh no, but the gold burst from Mirai. This is not really a spot you really want to let your opponent gold burst since it's final round. Oh, there you go, gets the hit, oh, so much damage. Oh, mercy, no one gets hit by the low. So much Miru, you can potentially dead angle or blitz, so there is some defensive options for Miri, but you know. No! No defensive Ooh. options when you get grabbed! Will the burst come back? Nope. Nope. Not the enough. Ball. You are. Yep, beach ball! You are not able to get out of there. Damn! Seja! Damn indeed! Yeah, on, on a roll. Completely. Beating Seja Pog. Miri? Eliminating him out of the bracket so that means gonna have to Versus. fight kid okay any, yep i think i saw that matchup i think we already seen a a jam let me check a jam made matchup today yeah it was kuko i think yeah kuko versus kenny way before well kenny 1 to 0 so let's see how uh kenny will provide this time since you know Seija turned out in that main mirror to be the stronger May, so uh, let's see if Seija has more tricks up her sleeve to uh, you know, catch uh, catch Kenny by surprise. Or Kenny will just turn out to be the main killer for tonight. We'll see, but we are already on the game and for now neutral is something that exists which gets shattered immediately. Yeah, I think neutral between these guys is going to be super fun. Because <laughs> both of these characters a lot of times just throw stuff out. So let's see how uh, how it turns out. Oh, blocks the 3k! Yeah, decides to burst instantly. Oh, nice! The dive kick actually hit. Oh, blitzes the Ooh. puff ball! Hey, there is. Oh, and another blitz! And Kenny could not be aggressive on there because the beach ball was there before. Well used, but now Kenny. Oh, well, we're going to be seeing Yamada. Oh my god, I can't it. catches! Oh, I'm just escaping from screen again with the dolphin. Oh no, the beach ball! Oh, oh my god, Seija's beach balls are insane! That beach ball is so troll. Yep. It's just stupid. It's supposed to be a toy, but it's like a murder. The murder tool it's a murder weapon. Yeah. 
it's way deadlier than any WWE weapon, technically. And this is only a bit full. And oh, oh, good damage with Ensenga. Oh! That yellow is not going go. to block you from the Call of the Dragon. And now, Kenny gets blocked and Seisha back to pseudo neutral, which gets skipped immediately for the 6 H charge and another. Whoa, whoa, what neutral? What neutral? We're watching German, mate. What neutral? <laughs> No, we are watching, we are watching Guilty Gear. Neutral hasn't existed in this game since ever. Gets the hit. Alright. Kenny putting that round on the board. Alright. Oh, does he get the ender though? Alright, Mix. Oh, gets it by the 6k. Or 6h, sorry. Nice conversion with the Dragon Kick. Oh, Seija has the burst though. Yes, gets blocked. Oh, oh but now <coughs> that opening was dangerous. Dragon was going to beat Dolphin, but oh my good god, good but in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's really annoying when you have these situations like that where you kind of like get hit by the blitz or like the button before blitz, and you tech and the blitz avoids it. Like you fly over the blitz and the blitz just because the the other player technically did the correct call, but the. The way the tech like angle is, you, you get kind of like the game just you know hmm. you get cheated basically. <laughs> well, it is what we what it is. Yep. So nothing that we can do. Now Kenny going way more aggressive here than simply this round. And Seija now gets a chance, but immediate burst and oh. That dolphin sent you back to the poses of the beast. Oh, the super into su the dragon again. There is super instant play. Oh, OTG? Nope. Oh my god, super YRC. Getting the inwolf frames. Oh, and just the dive kick. If that 6H connected, I think that would have been very big damage because there was like 6H <laughs> counter hit and also like. Uh, um, 6H yeah. counter hit and then everything else. Yeah. Could have been a lot of damage. Yeah, and oh, that Rumbon jumps in Kenny's side. Done, but now Seija almost getting something, but Kenny getting out of there as fast as he can. Okay, but now we are seeing full combo with Senga, question mark. But oh my god, a dragon is gonna fly. Oh, guess the wire seat. Max? No, just gets up, Dolphin. <laughs> Dolphin, air grab, six, cape, and more air dolphin. One in the corner. Good luck blocking ja. Yep. Blocking blocking me. Doesn't matter who's better you you're talking because good luck blocking that. Yeah. And Kenny? Oh my god, the last frames of the free kick connected. And Kenny got knocked down. Alright, oh, gets counter hit. I assume tried. Oh my god, the parry! Did the burst whiff or was that a parry? I'm not sure because we I saw the parry, but I'm not sure if uh, it whiff. connected. Whiff because almost had no, no boost bar. Oh yeah, true. Oh, gets Ooh. the hit. That was looking sketchy as. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, gets it. Burst out. Oh, I don't Yamada. Yamada san! Get block, air dolphin misses, 6 h dolphin misses, and yeah, just run up, jab. So, 2 for k &E, and these games are going to the whole wire all the time. Yeah. Alright. Alright, getting the Gatlings, nice, gets the ID. Nice backdash. Oh, Naya decides to burst. Alright, getting the- Oh, the dive kick connected! Oh, does he get the full combo? Gets it by the overhead regardless. Believe I was back dashing. Alright, starts the pressure. Oh, nice blocks. Gets the- Oh, nice block on the burst. Let's see. Nice pressure. Oh, tries to reset with the parry. But Seija doesn't budge. She is holding her ground. Once again, yeah, well, this damage! Oh my god! 
I, I am reading it on the wiki and the great Yamada attack. 140, 175, depending if you're using board. Jesus. That's... Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> it is. Oh, oh, we are going to the air. Anja and Kenny doesn't have any board. And it was a counter hit too. I believe Kenny might have reacted to it and tried to interrupt it, but just got smacked instead. Woo. That's lots of damage. <coughs> and the reset? No. Oh my god. Oh, oh. no. Who wins? Oh, this okay. is super. I am crying. Oh, oh this is gonna no be Dolphin. hell. Never mind. Oh. I think it went only. It could have been worse, probably. Yeah. Yeah. But there's Max Dragon on Kenny's oh, side. Oh, Yamada san. Oh, the Max Dragon team. block. Yes, connects and now oh, Burzo can even but gets blocked also. Oh my God, the oh. six H Y R C. That was such a cheeky setup. All right. Up. Oh, Burzo can kill, but oh. What the hell happened there? Was that across a beach ball? It just that was so fun. Yeah! It was across a beach ball, it was... Beautiful! <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting hype over a melee like that. I mean, it's... It's fun to watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's hype. It's so much funny. Oh my god, the 2H again. So many, like, funny interactions. And I don't know if it's just, like, this matchup specific or it's just, like, May in general, but... Oh my god. No, Kenny's just getting... Absolutely... Body. body in the corner, yup. This is a tough spot. Almost getting too touched. Almost? Yeah, that angle? Yeah, Alright, let's see. Oh, good <gasps> block. Parry on the Dolphin. Top in the air. Now Kenny has a chance. Loads up the overhead. Blitz, blitz, blocking that burst. Nice. Beach ball and the 3k! Seeing the button whiff and then just with punishing with the 3k. Alright, 2-1. Any thinking again of it? We might see a... I would not be surprised if we see a, another potential reverse Rio since, you know, can he, can he almost 3 0 pet, so... It would be kind of funny that, if it happened to him right now. So let's yeah. see if Seija has it in her to take it to game 5. Or Kenny just, you know, had a little little dent in his run back to fight Pat? I don't know, because Seija is playing really well. Look at those... I mean, that Seija's centers are, are decent, but uh, Kenny is also a really good player. But no boost, because that whiff completely... But all oh, dive kick connects, but you can grab out of that. Okay, well, we all hail XR. Max U gets counter hit and the burst. I I swear I don't think we saw a single burst. Like so many bursts uh, are getting baited this set. Seija bursted so many, uh, baited so many, not bursted so many, baited so many bursts. And Kenny also. Oh no. Bigger. Oh, okay. Get the throw. That the throw. We are mashing. Kenny was. Yeah yeah. Kenny was mashing throw as if his life depended on that. But no, oh, wait, six edge contact hit. Look, I want you to fix it on that red bar. Look at that life. Look Jesus how much it is disappearing. Christ. This is a perfect. Well, I don't know if it is a perfect or not, but I don't nice. care. Okay, it is not, but I don't care. That was a lot of damage out of two single hits. Yeah, as Finn said in the chat, should have blocked. <laughs> the, should to, have avoid blocked. 80, to avoid 80 percent, should have just blocked. Oh my god, but Kenny now on the roll. Only took 50%. Oh my god, counter hit to H. Was that a reset? Oh my god, this damage. Yeah, it was a reset. Um, May. Uh, it has a huge fucking anchor. Like it doesn't help when the anchor is as tall as her. Oh. Nice, gets the counter. Nice conversion. We might see burst from Sage come back though. I will say yes. Burst is back. Oh, with the blitz. Oh, no. Okay, there's still a chance. Burst. Oh, oh I'm, I'm oh, no. stifles it. What the wake up, 6 oh. That was 100% okay. throw. Nice blocks. Oh, and the counter into H, not like this. Can you have burst? Oh, 
Make no. it with. Nice! Kept it simple, waited for it to whiff. I know Kayani probably was scared of the blitz to not get hit on a cross up, but. Damn. That was a no moment if I ever see one. <clears throat> yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff from Kayani. Which means that uh, Kayani, you know, after losing to Pet, uh, going for the run back. So let's see. Uh, let's see uh, if uh, if Kayani now has it in him to uh, bring it in. We'll see because that. This last game was fought to the brim. To thumbnail, come. That was a match I was not expecting to be that exciting. Oh, Alright. Yeah. We have gamers. There you go, Grand Finals. All right. So let's see. Last last time we went to game five. So let's see. Oh, thank you for the raid, Frankie. Welcome everyone. Welcome. We're currently welcome, in welcome. grand finals of uh, salty you exert. We just started, so you just perfectly came in for a pod buster too. So perfect start. Oh, the potential parry. Oh, gets reset it. Oh no, what a spot to be in. Six k, six k. Trishula and ICMP Bang! Oh my God! Oh, could not get the last hit, but Kenny is a pixel. One more oh, hit is not so good. Alright, he needs one hit. There you go. There's the butt slam. There but, is your hit. Yeah, but also since you know people came from Frankie's stream, I would appreciate if you guys claim the code for the. Winner of this tournament is gonna get some money, so you can help out. Shameless plug as we have this set happening. Nice, gets the super YRC, but still didn't help to escape the corner. Now you're stuck. Nope. Mm. Especially because it put you onto the corner. And now it's Pet that has three quarters of the bar ready to go. Oh my god, nice blocks. Gets the hit. Oh my god, I see him just back dashing 24 7 and the back mega fist! And the back dash again! Back throw, Trishula, <gasps> see, back dash, pot buster, and Pet climbs that first game! <laughs> he back dashed to the dead angle! He back dashed to the dead angle! He saw back dash from KNE and Pet just back dashed and pot buster for it. Oh my god, yeah, this is tough. Great start from Pet. Good way to put yourself in this though. Oh my god, the wake up pull buster, just no respect, not even backdashing, just letting it rip. Yeah, Alright. We have two uppercuts. Well, had one uppercut on Kenny, but it's a hammerfall, but good throw and response. Oh, Trishula PRC? Oh, and the slide attack. Oh, that's a cool, that's a cool, that's a cool little mix, right? You, you use the Trishula, and then you do Slide Hat, which, like, becomes very hard to see because of the fire. So technically, like, a pseudo, like, unseeable, unblockable type. Yeah, so, interesting setup. For unblockable, pets, but busters, because he's just run up, he's going to recognize and he's going to go buster you, and pet, not letting it go already, up another round. Yep. I like Pet's patience, just sitting full screen, letting the other person just whiff 10 buttons, you know, and they just run and just get smacked. Oh my god, look at this! Kenny's just running into the hits. Nice, gets it by the slide head. And this is not normal, someone check his PC. Oh, out for Kenny. Oh my god! But runs into another buster. No. Kicks more and, and six edge to close it. 2 0 for Pet. And is this going to be the week that Potemkin rules Salty? 
Yeah. To be fair, to be fair, Pet has been a few times almost there, like claiming a win on Salty. So I think even won Salty once, if I remember correctly. So probably yeah, it, would, it would not be the first time Pet claims a win, but definitely be one after a while since last time Pet was here. I believe got second place and fell to Pia's Axel. Who, you know, is not here today. Doesn't have to deal with that uh, annoying matchup. Now we just have to fight my Oh, but gets the knockdown. Oh, to wake up from no respect. None. None given, but... Another wake up from... And another one! Is this? We're actually not respecting here at all. Alright, gets the full oh. dragon. Max Dragon Big. There Dragon's you go! Backdash! Oh! Podpast! Backdash, podpast! It begins! It begins! The Menas! Oh, I'm trying to back oh. the Shink Podbuster again, but I got hit by the 6 agents then. And now oh back. Oh my god. Back Mega Fist of Spam! Okay, Bibi. <clears throat> hit. Pet has burst still. Oh, Buddy! Buddy Slam is going to connect. I'm trying to back the Shink again. Man, I love how Pet plays. Pet plays with such confidence, just, you know, spamming moves whenever he feels like. When he expects someone to do something, it's like. Such a confident and like out there playstyle. It's really fun to watch too. Oh, Hammerfall and gets the follow up. He makes the burst and immediate pot buster. Now Kenny is in a really precarious position. No burst probably for the rest of the game. Oh, and super. Hey, connect. Connect, okay. And oh. Not a clean hit this time. Yeah, but it wasn't at least like the whiff one, right? The bad one where you just completely get knocked down. So at least it was something. Oh, nice parry. Oh, and the Shula. The Shula <gasps> blocks the mix. That block. Yep. Good block. There. And oh, that back there. He's not going to save here now. Max Dragon again. The Shula completely whiffing and Max Dragon is going to seal it. We have a series, ladies and gentlemen. With Kenny getting that first game on, on his count. Two to one. We might see the thing we saw before. It would be very funny. You know, Kenny almost brought back the reset last time. So, uh, let's see. Again, down 2 0. Last time got that power up. So, let's see if Kenny performs better under pressure. Oh my god. Oh. Alright, Max. Yeah, gets the reset again. I saw one. FD. I saw that Kenny hold the FD. <gasps> With the MIDI. Alright, gets the 2k. Who gets hit by the 2p? Yeah, decides to burst. A lot of meter on pet side. Oh, and the counter hit 5h, I believe. Nah. Bar slash, I think. Yeah, bar slash. Uh, I'm going to check on, on you. But I would say it's far slash. Well, it's far slash. Okay, but it was 5h. Who's taking the animation? I don't know. Yeah, 5h. Five it's 5h? Five okay. I think it's far. It's in, in strife that's far slash. Oh, yeah. Or could... I am missing something. I don't know. Could be. I'm going to check it because I am. Confusion. Normal's confusion. Mm. Oof. As we're checking them, Pet took the round. And it's on set point now. Can take the whole tournament. Oh my god. But. Oh. Nice. Ran up and. Ah, no. It's the same. Don't ask me why I was confused. Ooh. Gets it. Oh my god, the package ah. on the 6 age! This time, this time it pays off! Nice, gets the hit! It pushed out. And Pet has full bar of resources, but is it going to get a time to abuse that situation? Oh no! Is this going to be it? Potbuster, let's do this. Is normally, and another I mean, Potbuster! This is it! No! Oh. Misses the Slighthead! Slighthead uh, misses again! Oh no! DP! Yeah, I wonder if it was IK. Oh, never mind. Oh, who cares? Just backdash back, bro. <laughs> and gets the smack. And with that, Pet, this time not almost getting reset it. And instead, taking it smoothly. 3 1. And with that, that's it for today, with the bracket technically, since uh, Pet became the winner of Salty EU 9.6. I forgot to forgot to report the scores, SMH. Uh, it, it, it.
Yeah, what vale. a torment. And I want, I want to say something. Remember that ye you know that yesterday uh, another Potemkin was... Yeah, yeah, oh my god, I just realized. In Jesus the week of Potemkin. Yeah. We're, we're on the week, yeah, actually, we're on the week of Potemkin. Now we need now we need a Potemkin to win beginners. And it's perfect. Yeah, you know for, that this is highly possible, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because, uh, so for, for people who are not known, uh, yesterday was Salty Strive and the uh, Spanish Potemkin player actually won the bracket. So, <laughs> we have two days in a row where Potemkin won a tournament. <laughs> so, you know, we have, uh, yeah, the week of the Potemkin here. The, the grapples rejoice. And, yeah. So, again, it is everything for today. But, before we go anywhere, I finish shilling and all that stuff. I need to do the classic. I'm gonna put the Macharino on screen for the final time as we do the art troll and all that, you know, fancy stuff. So for everyone, you know, claim the code. Again, since Pet won the tournament, any code you claim right now will go towards for... Pet. Yeah, the more money for Pets Kebab or Happy Meal. His yep. choice, of course. Thank you, since he's Danish, he could get the Kebab Pizza. Yeah, and, uh... temporarily the Kebab Pizza. Yeah. So yeah, so that is it for today. You can expect more excerpt in two weeks, as always. Wait, can I host? Wait, I just realized. Oh my god. Twenty uh, first. Yeah, I can host. Actually, that's gonna be perfect. We're gonna do a nice pre UFA. Uh, salty. Since uh, I am, I am leaving. I am leaving for uh, UFA on Thursday. Like Thursday morning. When are you leaving? Uh, I'm going uh, twenty. I'm flying the 23rd. I'm flying the 23rd okay. because I'm going a day okay, early. I, I'm going a day early. No, I, I am. I am flying the same day. We can meet there and. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. And go yeah. to a bar. Yeah, I wonder what's gonna because I believe that even the players were talking about wanting to do like a local or something. So hey, you know we yeah, might. Yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. So but we yeah, might I mean... meet someone, and yeah. So I'm uh, gonna be. You can meet me. <laughs> yeah, well, both of us are gonna be there. So you know you can meet. I might sign up for Exert. I'm still not signed up yet. I have to. I, I, I am trip. signed up for Exart just to. Um, I, I am signed up for both Strife and Exart. Yep. But I know I'm going to. I am going to O2 Exart for sure because it's been a hot minute since I took Exart, so probably I'm going to be playing next week. In yep. two weeks in a row if I can just try to get it. And I hope I can steal someone's game on, on Strife. <laughs> hey. That's my idea. Hey. There's gonna be salty in two weeks, that same week you face up, so you know we can sign up, get the practice in perfectly. Because, uh, yeah, it's gonna be actually good timing. I've, I've real, timed it really well, damn, I'm, I'm happy about that. It's gonna be the same week as UFA, so a lot of people can get that one final tournament before, you know, the offline. So that's really cool. So, yeah, so next excerpt is going to be on the 21st. And, yeah, with that. I'm gonna send you guys to someone. I don't see anyone on Strive streaming uh, for excerpts. So I'm gonna send you over to EMEA Strive. They, they're running a bracket. That's actually Potemkin on stream right now, too, so. Uh, bro. Oh, interesting. There is another Potemkin there, so yeah, perfectly, you know, from one Potemkin match to another. And yeah, so you can always check more Salty action on the Salty Discord. We're hosting more tournaments. We're hosting. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be Tekken this week, but we're also hosting SF6. We're hosting some Strive events, Blaze Blue. The I next think week. I wanted to, wanted to do Tekken. Ah, there is Tekken. Yeah. Well, I, I think these are all sign-ups though. That's why I'm not sure about it. No, it's, it's the old one. No, yeah. I think they are going to be polished tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Tonight or tomorrow are going to be the next sign-up for the next events. So yeah, that's going to be the schedule for now. And yeah, so again, you know, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for claiming all the codes and helping the gamers out. And yeah, it was me, Raj. Alongside me was Lapsus for today. And Yo. with that, I shall see you guys in two weeks, or potentially on some other tournaments. And yeah, bye-bye. See ya. Alright. <laughs>